Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. In the last episode, we put kerosene inside of the winch machine, turned it on, and it did something. I think maybe drained that hole that led down to that squelchy, watery place. Which, when you go down it, leads to this other map here. As you can see, we've just been down the ladder right over there, and that's it. But before I go down there, because that's probably where I have to continue the rest of the game, I want to check this area here on this map. I just stepped foot in here for like... 10 seconds and then left before. So this time let's look at it proper. I remember there's lots of enemies inside, so probably just going to be running around trying to see if there's anything here. Oh no. Okay, okay, there's nothing. Right? Nothing over here either. Yeah. Okay. Yep, let's go down. Something that's interesting about Silent Hill is how... In a lot of games, if you encounter a room like you do here that's full of enemies, if it's an action game typically, it's a challenge. Right? Like, the, the game wants you to see it as a challenge, and if you take it on, you might find, I don't know, bonus loot or more lore or something, or maybe it would just be satisfying to take on the enemies or something. But in this game, that room, it's not a challenge. You don't get anything out of it. You only lose if you go in there. It's just a hell pit. There's nothing good that's going to come from going in there. I both hate and love that squelchy noise. I wonder how they made that sound. The Foley artists just like punched some mush, maybe? Right, just one way to go. Hmm. That's like a water gate. Sluice gate or whatever they're called. Down, down, down. Okay. Well, let's try going up. Alright, that was productive. <laughs> I like how you see parts on the map that look like they're completely open, like this long hallway that goes that goes up, and then you walk down, and then it gets marked on the map as you realize that it's actually blocked off. Which means that that stuff's new, right? Like when this map was drawn, like this isn't just like part of the architecture down here. This was put in, or I mean, probably more accurately, it was manifested or something. Oh shit! I don't want to be down here. Oh. Hey. You just stay over there, okay? Mm. I want to take care of it. It's making me uncomfortable. I know it's going to be coming back this direction.
Oh, pathway to the right up there. Uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Probably just a chain link fence. Yep. That fucking noise again. We heard that in the subway a long time ago. Well, I guess it wasn't that long ago, actually. It was just two episodes ago. It's a noise that really does sound like there's like a motorcycle in the distance. Like, in real life. But no, it's in the game. Either this way... Or this way. I don't know what the hell that is. What do you bet it's gonna be gone when I come back through here? It's like a storeroom. Oh, is that a garbage chute? What kind of machine is this? Looks like it doesn't work anymore. Hair dryer. Huh. A wheelchair. Why would a wheelchair be thrown out here? It's a broken clock. This is from the sewer too? Nice. I'm just wasting my time looking around here. I'd better get going. Even so, it really stinks. It's going straight from my nose to my head. Now that's a lot of garbage. Where the hell did it all come from? I guess this is all the stuff that gets tossed out into the sewers. Okay, what do you bet that thing's gone? It's fucking gone! I knew it! Ah, oh. I'm gonna have to fight it soon, aren't I? You know what, maybe if I put down some beef jerky, it'll come back and just stay here. There you go, buddy. Found it in a sort of garbage dump. Still looks usable though. Have anything else that'd be useful to use it on? No. Too many to fight, I think. Maybe. Actually, only one actually notices me.
cardboard box doesn't have anything useful in it. Nothing in the drum can. Save point. Yeah, people really just had offices down here. The drawer is open, but it's only filled with boring documents. Nothing interesting. Is this a security monitor? I can't see anything. Must be broken. Yeah, these look like server racks or something. There's a memo posted here. Can't tell what it says. Doesn't look like English. Danger, keep out. This was probably pasted on that door there. I can see where it fell off. Great. Yep, danger, keep out was posted on that super strong looking door. Documents on the floor don't look like they don't look like they have anything to do with me. But they've got today's they've got today's date on them. That's weird. That is. That is so cool. That's a lot of blood. Oh, hold on. Yeah, wow. Holy shit. It's centered all around here and uh, going into the water. As if something came out of the water. And killed people who were maybe banging on this door trying to get out and then dragged them into the water. Hmm. There's an outlet here. Oh. An outlet? Why would I want to do this, though? Ah! Is that it? Just the one? Is that what caused all this blood and carnage? So I guess this, I guess this probably would have been an insta-death if I didn't do that, huh? Well, that's a cool detail. Notice how the particulates in the water are speeding up when they get close to that outlet. I mean like a water outlet, not the wall outlet. That's a nice detail. Oh, God. There's some complicated machine here. It's not on or anything. I'll leave it alone. What kind of valve could this be? Doubt it's anything important. I'll just leave it alone for now. drum is in the way. There's something inside. I doubt I can move it. I mean, you could pretty easily step over these drums, but fair enough, I guess. Bunch of ways to go off the map. 
Guess I'll just pick one. Oof. Okay. Those nasty things are down here. Let's run. No, 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 no. Figured that'd be a dead end. Um, hmm. I guess towards... Alright, sure. I guess towards a horrible noise. Oh god, there's one down here. Wait, this isn't even on the map? Huh. Okay. Well, I guess this is where I'm supposed to go. This is just mirrored, isn't it? Reminds me a little bit of when we went into the clock tower in the first Silent Hill. Went down and then just came out in the same place. I mean, like, in the same way. It was just like a mirror of the same hallway, the same ladder that it went back up, that I went back down. That sort of thing. That's a terrible explanation. But took us to a different world. So it's going to be the same place, but different. No, nope, still not on the map. I can't get in. There's an iron grate blocking the way. There's stuff all over, but definitely nothing worth bringing along. Nice that we're going up for once. Wait, am I outside? I think I might kind of be outside. I can't see the damn sky, but this is a building, and I think we're walking on Earth. Walking on ground. See, like, the physicality of this makes no damn sense. We went down so deep, and yet we go up just a tiny bit. And then we're back on the ground. That doesn't make any sense. Unless wherever we just came from had some serious elevation differences. Site. What fresh hell is this? Oh, health drinks, yes. I think I was out of them. There's paint cans in the box. Guess you'd use it on walls. I don't need it, that's for sure. Electricity's off. The elevator won't work. There's a can of adhesive here. Doesn't seem too special.
Bags of cement or something piled up under the stairs. Don't particularly feel like lugging these heavy things around. I doubt I could use them anyway. Warning. The third level, ce third level ceiling has crumbled. For safety's sake, entry is forbidden. Door shut tight won't open at all. Probably for the best. A toolbox? But there's nothing useful inside at all. The fourth floor... Uh, the fourth level floor has crumbled for safety's sake. Entry is forbidden. Last floor. Pink cabs in the box. Huh. Someone above us. It's a toilet. I thought this building was still under construction, but it looks like this has been used. It's a plain old wash basin. Nothing special about it. Electric cord reel and a bag of cement. Yeah, someone's obviously been squatting here, I guess. Mattress, all sorts of, like, beer cans and stuff around. Toilet's been used. Lots of empty bottles and cans. Looks like somebody was living here. I think I just heard more footsteps above us. Ugh, filthy mattress. Will you drop it into the hole? Uh... No? Why would I want to? Is that gonna, like, collapse the floor that's already sort of collapsed or something? I don't know. Uh, I'll consider that for later. I can't see the fourth level floor. It's too dangerous to jump down from here. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's just for me to jump down onto. Yeah, I'm good. 
Wait, is there something in here too? Oh no. It's one of those sleeping big things. Okay. Uh, I think I can get around it. Because I still have a door back here to check before I go outside. It's like twitching as if it's dreaming. Oh no, I can't walk on top of the mattress. Ooh. Okay, we're going outside. This place looks relatively normal. Tabletop is covered with papers. Don't see any info that might come in handy, though. It's a thermal carafe. There's nothing inside. Is that welcome mat? What does that welcome mat say? Store. Store from. Storefront. Posables. Posables. Storefront posables. Posables. Like. Mannequins? These lights are odd. There's another one back there where I threw down the mattress. Another storefront posables. Doggies. Made the weapons. Not good. How am I doing on ammo, by the way? So we got 47 pistol rounds, a bit over 30 shotgun rounds, pretty good. I guess I could put down some beef jerky, I don't think it's going to do anything. A lot of doors to try without a map. Monica's dance studio. Hmm. Let's try other areas first. Prindle and Enos Law Firm. Elevator doors open a little. Space is too narrow to be of any use, though. I push the button, but the elevator won't come. Is it broken or something? Yeah, it seems to have power now. <laughs> What's this locker doing here? A 
exit. Huh. Well, that's probably where I'm supposed to go, so I'm wondering what's in Monica's studio. It's a poster advertisement for a dance studio. Who cares about that right now? There's one of those big ones sleeping. Thankfully, he's still sleeping. I guess. Uh, I guess sound doesn't wake it up. Only touching it. I'm gonna put down some more beef jerky just for the hell of it. Yeah, there's nothing in here at all. Must be the main office. Lots of papers, but none of them are important to me. Desk is all cluttered up. Doesn't look like there's anything I'm interested in. Oh, a map! Thank God. Hilltop Center. Hmm. Looks like there's a couple doors I didn't try, actually. Three of them down here on the bottom left. Why is that elevator circled? It seems to indicate to me that I can do something with it eventually. Ampule? Ampule and a mint kit, nice. Some magazines here, nothing really important. Okay, so just some resources. Resources that I kind of desperately need. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to check out more of Hilltop Center.